Don't you just want to go back to the time where you were young and live life without any hassle, errands and responsibilities? Well, childhood is definitely a great era of our lives where we started to develop the sense of who we are. One of the best aspects in childhood is just endlessly watching countless hours of TV with our favorite cartoon show. Some of you grew up with Disney, some with Nick, and some may be from Cartoon Network. But no matter what type of show you can watch or whatever channel that may be, there's always one show that stands among the rest. Welcome to the Quantum Wealth, where the road to success begins. Before starting with the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and comment below your thoughts for today's video. But before we peer straight through the gist, I would just like to give you a little disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor, so better take all my advice with a pinch of salt, and take only what can be applied to you. I do my very best in telling you the latest information in terms of financial management. But if you are experiencing serious problems, that is the time to seek out services by professionals and experts to help you out with what you're facing. Now your mind is probably running miles and miles reminiscing about all the shows you watched in your childhood. But in this video, we are going to focus on one TV show from back in the day that surely engraved itself in our minds. I'm talking about SpongeBob SquarePants. Undoubtedly, SpongeBob is a very lovable character and we have always adored that little absorbent pad. I mean, I did, and I'm sure you did too. Now, we are not going to assess the show in its fullest form. But instead, I'm going to show you 10 life lessons that you can obtain from SpongeBob SquarePants. Number 10. Make the best out of your failures. Never be too afraid to pursue risk with the fear of failing. In life, you get to have the best lessons when you experience failures, mistakes, and errors. Much like SpongeBob, he never made it a barrier to venture into new things just because he knew they were risk. Even when he was assigned that long assignment due in the very next day, he made no excuses to slack off but instead, he pledged to make the greatest essay there is. At number 9, Exhibit Kindness at All Times Have you ever seen SpongeBob get so mad that he turned his back on everyone and focused on his anger? Well, he does get mad sometimes but in the end, he always tries to understand other people's feelings. This is a trait that you should possess as it will surely allow you to build meaningful relationships with other people. Being bossy or frustrated will never take you places, therefore you should always be kind to everyone at all times. Number 8. Never be afraid to express yourself. You may have felt like your feelings were suppressed just because of the sake of not showing any emotions. Most people often believe that expressing yourself like crying, ranting, or simply opening yourself up is a sign of weakness. Well, they got it all wrong. SpongeBob is always keen on expressing himself so that he lives a healthy life mentally. You should also do this as well so that you are able to be free from all the chains that figuratively bind you. Number 7. Trust in what you can do. Your dreams are always valid, and you have all the right in the world to do everything that you can to accomplish all the things you've been wanting. SpongeBob earned that Employee of the Month title for how many times has he always believed in the power to believe? Number 6. Just stay true to who you are. You can never grow and prosper if you just create a fake persona of yourself that does not show who you really are underneath that cloak. We all can't deny that SpongeBob is really not a typical character, as he is filled with quirkiness and bizarre qualities that are uncommon to the general population. However, despite this, he still managed to become one of television's most lovable characters. Number 5. Learn to Break Free You can see SpongeBob as someone who's just always happy to be there, or someone who we can term as happy go lucky Well, what did this bring to him? Sheer happiness. This is something that you should apply so that you can never get too stressed, too tired, or too uptight in everything that you do. Learn to have fun, and if you're not, then you better find the fun in your own life. Number 4. Never get stuck with the eye of jealousy. Oftentimes, you may see other people having more achievements than you. But in reality, that is not true at all. Sure, they may have attained their goals, but what matters most is that you attain yours. It's not a contest of who has the best car or the best house, but rather a subjective experience of being purely satisfied. People may look down on SpongeBob for being just a worker at the Krabby Patty, but the thing is that he is happy, so we have no right to judge that at all. Number 3. Acknowledge your wrongdoings. It can never be avoided to take the wrong steps sometimes. 
which can lead to grave mistakes that harm oneself or, in the worst case, other people. This is actually alien to the character of SpongeBob. Throughout the course of the show, we see him making mistakes on orders, on his patties, or just in his life in general. However, he took full responsibility for these mistakes, owned up to them, and vowed to make things better. And this is something you should do if you wish to be successful. Number 2. Grow to love whatever you are doing. Whether you're still in school or already at work, or you're starting a family, you should always bear a great amount of love within you. Some people say that love conquers all. Well, it's a bit cheesy, but it actually holds a level of truth. SpongeBob always loved what he was doing. Being a worker for Mr. Krabs, a friend to Patrick, and an owner to Gary, he found love in all of these things. This led him to live a life full of satisfaction and happiness. And lastly, at number one, always persevere and never give up. You may have heard of the phrase, even the best falls down sometimes, and I have never heard such statements so true like no other. Indeed, we are always challenged with obstacles and failures, but the secret to ultimate success is to never let these obstacles back us down. We should always strive to do everything to the best of our abilities and as a result, we can be successful. Just like SpongeBob in his driving exam, he always maintained a positive outlook and never let his numerous attempts and failures hinder him from doing what he truly wants. You may just see SpongeBob as a feel-good show dedicated to young children, just like we were some time ago. But now as we grow up, we now see the meaning in everything and that kind of maturity manifests as we watch SpongeBob all over again. We get to have fun, yes, but this time, we got something meaningful to carry on for the rest of our lives. The future is all in your hands. That wraps up today's video. We hope you find this video helpful and if you like today's video, please like and subscribe to the channel. See you at the next one.